Good morning, guys. Good morning. Another brief look at the market. BTC holding 42.6. There are some absolutely amazing DCA opportunities out there right now, guys. Algorand, Pyth Network, Sand, Glimmer, HBAR, uh, Jasmine, Gala, uh, Solana. There's some amazing opportunities. Render, AVAX, uh, some, some fantastic optimism, Matic, Stacks. Good opportunities out there, guys. Definitely worth checking out. Um, and uh, definitely pick up your, if you want a place to pick up your projects, check out the channel sponsor, L Bank. Link in the description. Do your spot trading, leverage trading, copy trading. No case at KYC required. And yeah, let's uh, let's kind of get into it here, guys. Also, check out the Discord. Join the community, guys. Link's in the description for that, too. Uh, it's absolutely free. Join the community. Join the conversation uh, if you love crypto. All right. Also, shout out to uh, our newest channel member, uh, Erky Erky. Uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for jumping over to the member side. Uh, guys, you want to be a member on the channel, you get exclusive members-only content, very early micro-cap gems. Uh, we released a video for the members yesterday on uh, an amazing project that actually just launched yesterday, and I think it's going to go up a few thousand percent over the next uh, few weeks, so definitely one to keep an eye on, guys. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it here. Uh, but, but, but what do we got? SEC anti-crypto actions founder in 2023 defeated in 2024. <clears throat> the SEC's regulation by enforcement campaign against crypto has hit the buffers in 2023 as court cases went against them. Will 2024 fully put an end to the chairman Gensler and his lazy and uh, paternalistic method of operating? Uh, the anti-crypto crusade crusade when gary gensler was first named the chairman of the sec uh, in april of 2021 many in the crypto sector welcomed the uh, uh, appointment as they perceived gensler to have a decent enough grasp of crypto to be able to understand the innovations that the industry brought to the table however all hopes in the new chair were dashed as he showed his true colors as someone that sought to br uh, to bring the crypto industry down as quickly as uh, and as ruinously as uh, as was possible for his regu uh, regulatory agency. With the battle cry that everything in crypto besides Bitcoin was a security in his eyes, Gensler led his agency on a crusade against the vast majority of crypto companies that lacked the resources and financial clout to be able to fight their corner. Crypto starts the fight back. That being said, a small handful of companies grew quickly enough to be able to call on war chests um, that could provide the backing needed to fight the SEC tooth and nail through the court's over uh, what could be what could be some extremely long time frames, among those companies are Coinbase, Grayscale, and Ripple. CZ, the CEO of Binance, decided that there were more important things in life and decided to give in and settle with the SEC. Gensler must be licking its lips. I <laughs> called Gensler an it <laughs> at the thought of uh, curtailing as much as CZ's freedom as possible when he is sentenced in February next year. Ripple's victory against the SEC was absolutely massive in 2023. The ruling that XRP bought on exchanges by investors should not be deemed a security will prove a massive boost to Coinbase as it uh, continues to lock horns uh, with, the uh, with the regulatory watchdog in the courts in order to prove that its own offerings of cryptocurrencies are not securities. Uh, then there is Grayscale against the SEC, as it sought to turn its Bitcoin fund into an ETF. Not only did the court decide in Grayscale's favor, but the judge was uh, scathing of the SEC's stance in this case, calling it arbitrary and capricious. Following this victory, the spot ETF uh, proposals are, are queuing uh, up to be approved, uh, and this could be uh, this could take place as early as the beginning of January of next year, 2024. Lazy and paternalistic. 
even with his own within his own agency, Chairman Ginsler has had the uh, accusation that it's the agency's actions are lazy and paternalistic. And this was uh, said by Hester Pierce, one of the five currently serving SEC commissioners. She attacked her own agency in an uh, objection she posted on the SEC's website, writing that it was nigh uh, on nigh on impossible for crypto companies to seek compliance within the SEC as the process for doing so was completely inadequate. Uh, why is Gensler so against the crypto industry? Having watched the SEC in action against the crypto industry ever since Gensler took over the reins, uh, the question might be asked, why has the SEC spent so much time and effort on trying to eradicate crypto? There is absolutely no way to know for sure, but it could be surmised that uh, when Gensler was originally tapped for the job, he might have been told by certain people in corridors of power that one of his main objectives would be to stifle and eventually crush the private, the private money that was crypto. The powers that be could have decided that Bitcoin and crypto would challenge the supremacy of fiat currency. They might have thought that crypto would challenge the banking system and that the average Joe and Jane might start switching their funds out of the banks and no longer ser uh, that no longer serve them and instead would put their uh, dissipating a fiat currency value into something that held value. And by the way, the uh, the corridor people are uh, referring to people like Elizabeth Warren. SEC to face its Waterloo in 2024. Obviously, this is all conjecture, but be that as it may, the SEC is facing possible Waterloo in 2024. If the Biden administration is voted out of office in the in the U.S. election, uh, which will uh, culminate in November of 2024, uh, the rejig of personnel in the SEC might be on the agenda of the uh, incoming administration. So, will Gary make it through 2024? Uh, as chair of the SEC, will he resign before he gets removed? Uh, it'll all be interesting to see how it plays out. Gary has more losses uh, coming in 2024. In current cases, in my opinion, I think he's going to lose the ruling in the Coinbase case. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. They actually, Coinbase, there's actually two cases against the SEC. Uh, like Coinbase and the SEC are enthralled in right now. Um, you have the the case that the SEC is suing uh, Coinbase because they're accusing them of selling, uh, well, as you know, uh, securities because they sell cryptos. Uh, right now, there's a pending uh, request for the um, sort of pending motion for the case to be uh, thrown out. And if it is, then that would be a big loss to Gary. But uh, Coinbase actually just launched another lawsuit against the SEC because the SEC said no to their uh, request to make clear rules for the crypto space. So we will see how this all shakes out. The SEC could lose both of those cases going into 2024. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Gary's Days Dubbard? Sorry, guys. And also, like I said before, Become a member of the channel, guys. Support the channel. Click the join button. Get exclusive members-only content. And um, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, guys. We're trying so hard to get to 2,000 subs by the end of the year. We only have a couple days left. So uh, your sub would be greatly appreciated. Help us push up over the 2,000 sub mark. Um, and, yeah, uh, we will see you guys in the next one.